Woo! Guess who <coughs> remembered to um, reload the image that was saved on here for like years? Uh, not years, a year at most, maybe. Um. Hi. Uh. <laughs> oh no! Wait, it's not even in here. Uh. Gonna fix that like right now. Hi, whoever's here. I don't even know. Like, freaking phone. Help. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Shut up, Chris. Well, at least the thing is at pretty much real time. And speaking of real time, I'm not gonna look at this chat here. Uh. Also, also. Let's go do this little thing. And skip to the live broadcast. Here we go. Why is the chat loading? There we go. Could have sworn that I uh, actually had the had it in here. But I guess not. <laughs> the direct starts in eight minutes from now. Icons, there it is. Yeah. Now let's go back into this thing. There we go. It'll be tiny for now. Um. So Nintendo Direct. Man, I can't wait to see what we get this time around. Cause, whew. They're gonna they're probably gonna drop some bombs, bombshells. If I were to take a guess. <sighs> I want Joker. <laughs> I want Joker! I want Joker to be announced. He probably will be. Maybe a teaser to the next DLC character. I don't know. My dog is barking for whatever reason because my package got here. I'll get that later. And yeah, no, my package is here. Ben! <laughs> Leave him to his devices. Oh, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm very hyped. I'm very, very hyped. I'm going to send this out. I'm going to share this out just in case people want to join in and see. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I re I'm I'm kind of jittering a little bit. I really want to know. Uh, oh, shiz. Okay. Um, should probably go. Oh, what? Don't, don't, don't mess me. Don't mess up on me. Don't mess up on me, stream. I expect glorious things from you. Um. So, okay, the the one thing that they are definitely going to talk about is Fire Emblem. Which I guess is okay. Uh, because we hadn't gotten any information on that since September. Like, at all. It was silent for ever. Um... Okay. The timer is about to end, but not on the stream! No, we still got five extra minutes. I was hoping some people would be here, but that's fine. I can just I can ramble for five minutes. I mean, how how do you think I was able to do well on this YouTube channel? <laughs> I also may or may not have made food directly before this, so 
if I seem like an unprofessional fuck, then that's why. Um. <clears throat> oh, did I? Okay. Just wondering why that was off center. It was a, it was irritating me. What I was going to do was transfer over to the stream, but it keeps freaking freezing up on me, and I don't want it to. Hmm. Hopefully someone speaks in it. You know what? I'm just gonna chat. Just to get rid of that box. <sighs> Alright, it's not gonna get rid of it. I mean, in any case... Why is it... Should I go to Twitch? Will that work better? I think I'm gonna go to Twitch. Hopefully this will actually work as advertised. I can't stop the chat though. That's still gonna happen. Uh, that line's gonna be there and that's gonna annoy me. What time is it? Okay, I have time to, to fix that. I'll just crop it out a little bit. Because uh, there's not enough messages that I can write within that time because there's gonna be a del There's gonna be like a a penalty of sorts so I'm just gonna crop it down a little bit and there's two minutes left oh man oh man oh man oh man oh man oh man I can't wait oh boy okay so I'm just gonna do that there you go now that's gone I'm just gonna raise the chat just a little bit so it fits there we go and there's that. Everything is set. Now I hope to God this doesn't freeze. Come on, Twitch, I believe in you. I know I haven't used you for well over th four years, but I believe in you. Oh, I should probably also get rid of the music when it comes time to do. <laughs> I forgot I had that still running. Uh, goo. Also, I don't know how loud this is going to be. I hope this is loud enough. Because I want it to be able to be heard on the ch on the stream more than anything. Can I get rid of this? Can I close the chat? Hide. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I want. Just pure Nintendo. Uh, one minute left. I hope Joker. I'm hoping for Joker. Oh, uh, I'm hoping for Joker so bad. My god, I hope for Joker. I hope forever for Joker. I should also... Ch I don't know why I didn't do this beforehand. I literally just started the stream. So... Just gonna... Okay, so now the delay should be synchronized, and we shouldn't get any of that stuff that happened in the last uh, Smash Direct. Uh, I think it's going to start, so I'm going to just mute this, go to full screen, and here we go. Does it sound good? It looks like it does. Oh, Mario Maker 2. They're going to start off with it, huh? They're starting off with Mario Maker 2. But it looks like they're adding more stuff to it. Like slants? Slants weren't in it before. Right? No, it wasn't it. It wasn't in Smash's version, right? No, it wasn't in it before, right? 
It didn't have slants! Mario Maker 2. So it's more of the same? Can we get like a Mario 2 background? There's remixes, which is nice. Piranha Plant. You're the Smash character! Oh, they're adding the bell power up. Interesting. They actually have like obstacles now. This is nice. And background effects. So they have the Cat Mario for Super Mario Bros. 2. And it's coming out in June. Okay. That's good to know. Hey, Hi, it's everyone. in the magic, dude! I'm Yoshiaki Soizu, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. So they're starting off with that, and that was rumored, I think. You just got your first look at the brand new sequel to Super Mario Maker, which we're of course calling Super Mario Maker 2. Hmm. There will be brand new features, and many new elements are in development as we speak. So it's not done yet. So please stay tuned. Interesting. All right. Next, let's cover. I might actually Nintendo grab it. Switch headlines. Depends on what I'm feeling like. Switch headlines. All right. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? First time in. Oh yeah, we years. know about this from the, the Marvel that Alliance this thing from the Game Awards. With a new four-player action RPG. It looks and an cool. New original story. Assemble your ultimate dream team from a huge cast of Marvel superheroes, from the Guardians of the Galaxy to the Avengers, Defenders, X-Men, and more. It looks cool. Stop Thanos and the Black Order from unleashing cosmic chaos. You can play together in TV mode locally on up to four systems or online man i can't wait how online play is not gonna work heroic camera and speaking of heroic it's time to, to fix that stuff faster with marvel's ultimate cosmic protector captain marvel wield her power is it just me i mean i think this this isn't this isn't final but it does look a little laggy use on the fly in carol danvers case literally in addition to basic attacks and skills, also they just reminded me. Extreme attack, their most powerful move. Whether you join forces with friends, not that I, online, not that I think this is bad, but I don't really care at the moment. Didn't Ross literally tweet out that if they make a Mario Maker two, then Ross is now contractually obligated to make more attack. levels for the <laughs> for Game Grumps? In Marvel Ultimate Alliance three, the Black Order launches exclusively on Nintendo Switch oh this summer. Oh boy. All right, what else? Welcome Fox back, Boy, that Fox was also Boy. leaked. So that means the leaker is correct, right? Some boxes and have fun I actually do like Box the Boy on the on the on the 3DS. Is this going to be all the three time. games? This brand new game is tightly packed with tons of content, including brand new puzzles. And or is it a new game? We fit something else in too. What? This Dude, time, two players can box it up together. To restore peace on the box planet, you must work as a team, solve puzzles, and beat those stages. After completing the story, you can access a whole separate adventure starring Cutie, the tall one. The tall one. In all, there are 270 stages to beat. That's the highest in the series to date. Oh, it's a new Use game. Your brain boxes to think outside the box and lead our heroes. It to looks the goal. really crisp on the Switch. Box Boy and Box Girl will unload on Nintendo Switch April 26th. Interesting. Yeah, Nintendo's posting all the their. Huh? What? Update. What? What show? What? Jo Super wait, Joker! Right, Joker! Is about to spring forward it's already coming with 3.0. 2.0 just came out like spring. a few weeks ago. What are we adding, you ask? Joker. You'll just have to wait to find out. Joker! Remember. Joker! Joker is a part of Challenger Pack 1. Oh. Show gameplay, He's please. He's secretly been preparing for battle, and his moment will finally come before the end of April. In other Gosh. words, this year, springtime is the time to smash. And don't forget, new Super Smash Bros. series amiibo figures are Shit. on the way, too. Oh, hey, I'm getting that. I've so one. <laughs> Damn it! Wow, they're teasing. There's even more to explore in Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. What is there going to be an, an update to this game? Because it's already out. Worlds of the Captain Toad Treasure Tracker game. 
In fact, we have two new announcements for the Nintendo Switch version. Okay. Yeah. After a new update, all courses will support two-player co-op. Maybe Captain Toad won't be so nervous with someone at his side. Nice, two I guess. Two are better than one, and an extra set of hands goes a long That's way. That's not bad. This free update will be available later today. And That's not bad. some paid downloadable content is coming. For We're Captain Toad? Challenges that'll see you How expensive? To five new courses, from sunken ships to a kingdom of sweets. And achieving new objectives in existing courses. I mean, the game looks fun, but like, I don't know. I mean, I guess there's an audience for it. Captain Toad and Toadette must obtain the shiny crowd in each course, all of which can be played alone or with a second player. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker special, special episode. episode will be available for purchase as soon as, well, later today, giving mm. you early access to one of the courses. The rest of the content will launch on March 14th. Okay. If you don't have the game yet, look out for a digital bundle available on Nintendo eShop later today. Probably it contains 40 the bucks. full game and gives you access to Captain Toad Treasure Tracker special episode once it's available. Steal yourself. Oh, is it actually finally coming out now? New Gothic Castle. The side-scrolling action of yore shall rise once more in Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. And so, the young lady Miriam, host of the Alchemist's Curse must use her unwanted gifts to slay the demons wrought by the curse's original host, Jeebel. Man, this looks so indie. With these powers, she can steal the ability It looks pretty, enemies, but man, does it look indie. To her will ...and dart about Jeebel's castle at lightning speed. Here, the laws of reality and 2D side-scrollers don't apply. Throughout the castle, a treasure trove of side quests, deadly tasks, and small touches flesh out the campaign. <laughs> Your body is covered with weird decorations. Mm, I'm British the story, by the ooh. You can dig deep into character customization, subquests, and more. Stop the fall of man at the hands of demons. Ooh. Don't be afraid to show them your dark side. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. I mean, I I play Curse of the summer. Curse of the Moon, and that's really really fun. The time has come to build a new world and That's take on the children of Harden. Dragon Hardy. Quest? On an empty island, you'll ally yeah. yourself with the mysterious Even mountain, though it looks very Dragon Ball-esque in terms of, like, the villagers to help its art style. Alongside you in the story like, I could have sworn that was, like, a cheapy Go Super Saiyan Goku. Or online. You'll gather materials. But yeah, no, isn't Dragon Quest cool. Builders just Minecraft? You new heights by building any structure you can imagine. Now yeah, no, the assets look like they ripped straight out of Dragon Ball. I don't know if that's the Playing point of it. Explore underwater and warp all over the new retro-inspired map. If you own the previous game on the Nintendo Switch system, you can craft the legendary builder's outfit and the Dragon Lord's throne. It's cool, I guess, for those Dragon who Quest like it. Builders 2 launches on Nintendo Switch July 12th. <sighs> I'm waiting. I'm there are waiting. more Nintendo Switch headlines to come. All right, Fire First, Emblem. A word from Mr. Koizumi. Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. Well, how's it looking? Next. What? We have a new announcement for that classic RPG series. Please take a look. Oh, was that what they were talking about? That noise? What is that noise? There are RPGs, and then there's Dragon Quest, the series that defined the genre. And the latest entry is charging onto Nintendo Switch in full force, pairing the series' beloved style and perfectly balanced battles with the most impressive scope and elaborate story okay. in series history. Where there is light, darkness follows, for no one does I mean, this ring cooler cool. than the Luminary, the boy that prophecy says will succeed the last hero and protect the world from a terrible end. I feel, like, I feel like I feel there's a the butt here. Birthright is snatched from him. Is it not? On the day he becomes an adult, he or is it just a new Dragon Quest game? Heritage and the powers that make him the Luminary. When he goes to the king of the largest kingdom for guidance, <laughs> he is man. That guy's mustache. Dark. So begins the perilous journey of a hunted hero and the ragtag band of adventurers who will join him on his quest to set things right. Together, they'll explore the towns and terrain of the sprawling, detailed land, Erdrea. Monsters roam free of random encounters. When you engage them, choose your strategy wisely in turn-based battles. Good. You must know when to attack, when to heal. I like the, I like the Paper Mario slash Earthbound um, 
method of fighting enemies where they're not random. You can decide whether or not to fight them. And improve their abilities. I like that tactic. You can also collect materials so you can forge weapons, armor, and accessories. That's cool. Looking for an item? Then help people out in side quests. Though it does look... Or try your hand at the casino. Or horse racing. Erdrea is full of surprises like these, and this time, the player has the power to choose on the fly between the land's gorgeous HD vistas and the 2D 16-bit glory of all. That's nice. This is also the first version of the game with fully orchestrated field and battle tunes. If you want, you can change between the original sound and the new one whenever you want. And you can also experience the journey with English or Japanese audio. And dead. <laughs> so this is, I would assume this is Dragon Quest 12. Interesting why they picked this game of all games to showcase in depth. Interesting. I mean, I'm just not being grabbed. It looks fun, but I've got First like time so many other things. Should also look forward to new stories. Each sees one of the main cast members stepping into the spotlight, shedding new light on hidden truths. This hero's adventure has truly leveled up. Oh, it's a definitive edition Dragon of Dragon Quest XI. S. Echoes of an elusive age. Definitive edition. Launching what? exclusively on Nintendo Switch this fall. Question, why is the S there if it's part of the While we just announced the, the addition of these new stories, there will be more new information to share in the future. Okay, cool. Please look forward to learning more. For now, let's continue with more Nintendo Switch headlines. There's gonna be one on Fire Emblem. A Disney Tsum Tsum game like you've never Say seen before. Say hello, just summon a what now? These stuffed Disney toys took the world by storm, and now they're ready I've for I've never heard of these before. The toy store in Disney Tsum Tsum Festival. What do you mean took Play the world? I've never heard of these before. Of competitive and cooperative games that support up to four players. You can play online as well with players from around the world. Oh boy, this looks so... I mean, it doesn't look like shovelware, but man. You can't mention Disney Tsum Tsum without talking puzzles. Connect matching Tsum Tsum to clear them and set a high score. Man. The game also features a two-player mode for local and online competitive matches. I thought I heard Disney Pikachu's Tsum voice Tsum there. Will steal our Is that just me? We're picking up a distress call in the Atlas Star System. But this time, it's far from friendly. In fact... It's none other than Star Wolf's infamous lieutenants, Andrew Oikini, Pigma Dengar, and the Great Leon. Now Peppy, Falco, and Slippy have no choice but to hunt them down, like the animals they are, in a challenging new series of missions you can only find in the spring update of Starlink Battle for Atlas. Every member of the Star Fox team has their own special pilot ability and skill tree. Plus, each pilot can take on any of the new missions and also Fox's missions from the base game. It's time for a game of seek and destroy, but don't expect Wolf to play fair. Look forward to news on the rest of the additional content, such as starship races and faction missions, so you're ready when the Star Fox team joins the Starlink Battle for Atlas update this April. Yeah, I can do not pod races. Cool, I a guess. A heartfelt fantasy adventure crops up once again. Another season, another reason to wield weapons and spells against monsters. It's a very RPG focused direct. Interact so far. with townsfolk daily. Grow vegetables and fruits at the What farm. is this? Cook some fish. Cook up a storm. Or even raise monsters. This fantastical circle of life will keep you coming back for more in Rune Factory 4 Special, fully remastered for Nintendo Switch. Rune Factory. Didn't I hear? Alongside I heard about this. Long, you may become more than just friends. What? I love you. See what the heart-pounding newlywed life has in store for you, exclusively in this new version of the game.
Rune Factory 4 Special will be ripe for the playing later this year. Neat. Okay. And... What? Rune Factory 5? We can finally confirm that Rune Factory 5 is in development. Look forward to more info in the future. Neat. I hope it's not a... I hope it's not a, um... Soon, a time will come to slay yeah, there's a lot of, like, Japanese-specific games in this. Souls become monsters. In this action RPG from the developers of I Am Setsuna and oh, Lost Sphere, step into a realm built upon the tenets of reincarnation. Its people lead repressed lives, forbidden to mourn the loss of loved ones. To uphold these tenets, Kagachi must travel between the living world and the beyond, to rescue lost souls from a terrible fate, becoming monsters. When battling these creatures, the lost souls you've rescued can manifest within you, granting you. They're probably powers. putting all these in here because they know that they're going to talk about Fire Emblem, so you must choose the and right so they assume that people who like Fire hand. Emblem would like these in this games. Deep single player campaign, there will be many battles. You will fight, and you will become stronger. Those who fall to grief are lost and the lost don't reincarnate. The very foundations of reincarnation will begin She's to crumble cute. when Oninaki launches in summer 2019. Neat. Cars, robots, and Yoshis in a world of craft. You know what that means. Yoshis Crafted World is almost here. It is, this we have time, a month left. We'd like to put the many facets of these crafty courses on display. Oh? As Yoshi, you'll go rafting. God, this game looks pretty. I'm gonna have to Race get this on now. And tear through the sky on a plane. Nice shot, Yoshi. So hey, I like how you can shoot the background. For a miniature. Even at this scale, you'll have some challenging bosses to wrangle. Using in-game coins you've racked up, you can collect crafted costumes. Good. If you wear one, it'll offer a bit of protection from enemies. I want them. There are more I than want them. Of these costumes. I and want you them. You get your hands on. <laughs> Later today, we'll release a demo. Let you play. All right, I'm going to stream course. that demo. Not today, but maybe today. The Yoshi's Depends. The Crafted World game will finally hatch on March 29th. We have more Nintendo Switch headlines coming up, but first, another update from Mr. Koizumi. Now Fire Emblem? How's it going so far? Next, we have a follow-up on the latest installment in one of our long-running series. There it is. Fire Emblem Three Houses. Please, have a look. Alright, time to hear about this. I hope it's Fates 2.0. I like you. You're adorable. Oh my. What could have brought you here? Oh, you're talking to me? The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Okay. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family... Fargus! <laughs> to the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor, rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. Okay. And then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. In the Fire Emblem Three Houses game, you are the hero the world needs. So you can create your character, you start out kind of. You a mercenary of. traveling with a group led by your father, Geralt. After an unexpected incident reveals an unknown power hidden within, You'll travel to Garrick Mock Monastery, where you'll receive an offer to teach at the Officer's Academy. Around that same time, you alone begin to see a mysterious girl named Sothis, who appears in I like her. I like Sothis. What's this? Garrick Mock Monastery lies at the center of three large territories. Wow, okay. It is the home base of the Church of Saros, 
the main religion of Fodor, Whoa, what the as well as the Knights of Saros. Not only does the church serve to maintain order in Fodlan, its monastery also houses it, the officers' academy. Those who train Chronicles there will go on to shoulder the future of Fodlan. The officers' academy is comprised of three houses. The Black Eagles is for That's students where from the Adlestian Empire, or including the house leader and future emperor, Edelgard. The Blue Lions boasts Prince Dimitri of the Holy Kingdom you look of like Fargus a character as Susie house would have made. This house is for students from his kingdom. The Golden Deer is Whoa. for students from the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, who is the heir of the noble family that leads the Alliance. Hey. Hey, man. <laughs> Oh. As a professor, you will lead the students of one of these houses and instruct them. In addition to the so house it's leaders, fucking there are Pokemon many other Go? students to meet, each with their own unique personalities <laughs> and skills. Which house will you choose? Yeah, this is the Pokemon Go. This is literally retreading the teams from Pokemon Go. That's going to become a whole other thing students now. Students are expected to travel to various lands. I might go for Edelgard. Sometimes with the Knights of Saros themselves and gain real battle experience, including everything from defeating bandits to suppressing rebellions. These may be class assignments, but the stakes in each battle are very real. Whether your students live or die will depend on your leadership. Strategize as the battle progresses to claim victory. It's kind of, it does. At the Officer's Academy, your students will work it's diligently definitely fire each emblem. day so that they may wield a variety of weapons. Master the study of magic. And acquire special skills such as horsemanship. Fighting? What? Reason? Faith? You have been entrusted with their future, and it's up to you to guide each of them and help them hone their abilities. Through combat experience and study, you can help your students reach their full potential. Interesting. And I guess that buffs their your stats. Your students can also interact with each other at the academy. And by doing so, Supports. their bonds will strengthen. Supports! And they'll be able to better support each other on Yeah! The Please have support conversations between people. Oh, hi, Cassandra. I didn't see you. Hi. Fire Emblem. Fire emblems happening. Hey, over here. Huh? Forward now. Three territories. Three houses. So he's a bow user. Your very own journey. So you get to pick one of the houses and then you just go for it until you win. Fire Emblem Three Houses When's it coming will release out? on July 26th. Damn, that's in, that's way out. And of course, it's a special edition. Cool. So, how does it look? It looks fun. Originally, we announced that Fire Emblem Three Houses would release this spring. You did. But more development time will be necessary. That's fine. Just make it good. So the new release date is July 26th. That means we'll have to ask you to wait a little longer. But we hope you'll look forward to the next generation of Fire Emblem. It's fine if it's delayed. Time for some more Nintendo Switch headlines. This must be the last set? What time is it? Yeah, this has to be the last set. entry of this iconic series, the last player standing wins. Wait. 99 players. But only one reigns supreme. Is this a Battle Royale This is. Tetris Oh, uh, yeah, I was going to say Tetris earlier, and I was like, what? The iconic puzzle game arrives with an online experience like no other. Because Puyo Nintendo Puyo Switch doesn't online exist. Online members can battle for dominance in this free-to-download game. Oh, it's a free game. If you're attacked with garbage, attack back to defeat the other 98 Wait, players. Wait, it's free if you have the survivor. online membership? Also, are 99 people playing Nintendo at the same Switch time? Online members, be ready to Because that's kind of fight. cool. Tetris 99 will be available for download later today. You're using Roku Look forward TV. to battling it out in Neat. upcoming online events. Okay, Tetris. Prepare to kill, survive. Wait, Dead by Daylight's coming to the Dead Switch? Dead by Daylight. Imagine this. You're alone, struck by fear. Okay. Struggling to survive. 
I'm pretty sure PJ wanted me to play this survivor, game at some point. But it's too late. The killer is I don't know why, but he wanted run. me to. Hide. <laughs> Scavenge for items. Open the gates and escape with your life. Or take on the role of the killer to make the so-called survivors your next victims. Whoa. Terrifying? Oh yes. Satisfying? Just you wait. With loads of maps, characters, and cosmetics oh, it's to a earn, multiplayer game. you'll experience a deep progression system while you're on the hunt or being hunted. Discover the true meaning of horror when Why Dead by the Daylight Switch, creeps up though? on Nintendo Switch this fall. I don't see any way you can play that hand though. This dog will Oh, oh wait a minute, that's Deltarune! Are you fucking... No, wait. Okay. They're putting Delta Rune on the Switch. Even though it's free on PC already. Now? Oh. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> Good! Oh my god. Good! Yeah, there aren't. I played, I played through it. There aren't actually that many dogs. It's at the end of the month for free. Nice. Yeah, it will not be free. Okay, good. Thanks, Toby. Now for a message from the oh, producer what, of the futuristic what, mech action. Is this coming out now? Hello, everyone. I'm Kinichiro Tsukura, producer of Damon X Machina, and I have some news for you. Later today, they'll be releasing a demo called Damon X Machina Prototype Mission on Nintendo eShop for a limited time. The limited game is still in development, but in the demo you can battle through four different missions while exploring the basic controls and customizations of your personal mech known as an arsenal. You can also experience a boss battle in the final mission, so please try it out. After playing the demo, we'd like to hear your feedback. So they're we'll taking the... a short online survey by sending an email invite to some players They're taking the um, Octopath Traveler approach, which is nice. If you weren't selected for the survey, we also welcome your feedback via social media. Rune we Factory 4 Remake? It's neat, I guess. I don't know anything about Rune Factory. We have more to say about Damon X Machina, so please follow the official Nintendo of America Twitter account so you can stay up to date on the latest information. Damon X Machina should be launching this summer. Okay. With that in mind, the development team is working hard right now, so please stay tuned. Okay. Thank you. Realistic Racing is headed for Nintendo Switch. What? Like Grid Forza? Oscar comes fully loaded with a mix of high-speed thrills, believable handling, and a but difficulty level aren't, that scales to your aren't skills. the fact that Realistic Racers... Like a pro racer as you is it the one of their, like, biggest, like, draws? Races. Is the graphics the and how good they look, but it's on the, the Switch, so it's naturally not going to look nearly as good as it would on the PS4 or Xbox One, and some welcome additions or even like PC. And custom controls. Players can race not that I'm or local, unbelievably can race floored to see racing games that I don't care about. To derby. When grid but speeds on I feel like Switch people would not want to get a Switch for racing games like these. But Enter the Viking Age hey, I heard about this. This got again. like or this got like a Games for Impact time. Award last year, I think. Created in collaboration two years ago. with neuroscientists and people who experience psychosis. Hellblade pulls players deep into the mind of Senua. I heard good things about this Hellblade. This broken Celtic warrior will embark on a haunting vision quest through Viking Hell. Switch is good, Cassandra. The, the Switch is really good. Hellblade has won multiple awards, including BAFTAs for performance, audio and artistic achievement, British game... I game would like to try this out. Find out why when Hellblade Senua's sacrifice releases when I, on Nintendo if, Switch If I decide to pick it up, I do want to try it out. The Nintendo Switch lineup just keeps getting stronger. All right, what, what else is coming up? Mortal, Mortal Kombat, Kombat 11's coming to the Switch saga. too. Oh, wait a minute, that wasn't the trailer, I think. Far from over. With all new custom I'm probably gonna get the PS4 version if anything. Characters and returning veterans taking up the fight. If I do get it. Wait, Unraveled? Players take control of two adorable Yarnies. 
Control I already, uh, on your own well, Unravel 2 is, but what about the first co-op. one? For some puzzling platforming fun, when Unravel 2 comes to Nintendo Switch March 22nd. What about the first one? For the first time is that Nintendo Assassin's Switch, Creed? Experience the Assassin's Creed 3 remastered, okay, Assassin's Creed revamped 3. gameplay and features tailored to the system like motion aiming and touch input. Cool, cool. I still like Black Flag. Explore one of the most iconic eras. That's the only one that I played and cared about freedom, because pirates. Independence are usher cool. in the rise of a nation. All the original downloadable content plus the entire standalone game Assassin's Creed Liberation Remastered will be included when they launch together on May 21st. Final Fantasy fans, better open your calendars. We're excited to announce that Final Fantasy VII will find its new home on Nintendo a month. Switch March 26th. Well, we can also new announce that series. Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon Everybody will release on March 20th. We're pleased to announce that Final Fantasy IX will journey onto Nintendo Switch later oh. today. Wait, a classic, why, is, always a why is 9 coming up before 7? That's all for today's Nintendo Switch headlines. Wait, there's, there's always a one more. How's everything looking? What's the one more thing? Well, we have a bit more to share in this Nintendo Direct. Please stay with us until the end. Pokemon? Let's take a look, shall we? Oh god. What? What is it? What is it? What's this one more thing? Huh? Wait, is... I don't... What is this? This looks cool. It's a hack and slash game. Is this made by Platinum? Because it kind of looks very Platinum-y. Like a near automata feel. This looks really cool. This must be made by Platinum. or s It feels like it is. This is so anime. Understand. My heart goes out to you too. All because of how you were born. Doomed to be used by those idiots until you die. Chained to your fate. Powerless. Today has been most revelatory. Finally, we're ready for the final stage. What the, the hell, hell are, are they? they? Why did you make them? Hideki Kamiya! I knew it was platinum. Yeah, Nyar Automata. It definitely feels like it. Just looking at this, Astral Chain, and that's coming out near the end of the year. I want that actually. Yep, I called it was platinum. It looked like a platinum games. What you just witnessed is Astral Chain, a brand new action game in development at Platinum Games. It looked like two characters were fighting together during battle. They were chained together. I hope you're excited to learn more about how I actually do. It really looks game. cool. Please stay tuned. And speaking of platinum games, Bayonetta 3! Very curious about Bayonetta 3. Bayonetta 3! Rest assured, the developers of Bayonetta 3 are hard at work, and I hope you're looking forward to learning more. Our next title will be the last announcement of the day. Okay. Please check it out. Damn it, okay. What is this? Huh? Water? What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Z Zelda, is that Link? Is that Link? Oh my god, are they remaking of Link's Awakening? Are they remaking Link's so Oh! They must be! Oh my god, they're remaking Link's Awakening! That has to be, that's the opening scene! Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm actually ha- Oh! Yes! They're remaking Link's Awakening! Oh my god! Yes! 
Yes! Oh, what the? What a weird start. It's art style. <laughs> it's like it's like a toy box. It's cute, I guess, but wow. Wow. <laughs> I, ha I have a feeling people are gonna hate this art style. I have a people. I have a feeling people are gonna hate this art style. I can already see it. I'm happy that they're getting a, that it's getting a remake. It's so underrated. It's so underrated. So, what did you think? At long last, 1993's Game Boy yeah. Classic, The Legend of Zelda. It's been Link's over Waking. two decades. You'll find new life on Nintendo Switch. After 26 years, it has been reborn as a new experience, and we'll have more to say in the future. Please look forward to its release. I, I will. That's today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you so much for watching. I will look forward to its release. I want to know... I want to know about... Bayonetta 3. But he just is like, okay. They're still working on it. Okay, I guess. Yeah, I know. That... <laughs> Damn, I was I was hoping it was gonna be like a links like a link to the I I'm afraid of looking at the chat. I feel like people are gonna be salty. I feel like people are gonna be salty. Yeah, people are salty. I'm not surprised. Mario Maker 2 though. Mario Maker 2, though. Damn. Wow, like, I was excited for Link, for Link to the Pat, uh, Link, uh, Link's Awakening remake. I didn't think I'd be excited for it, but that was, like, the one Zelda game that I played through most of, pretty much all the way through, but I never beat it because I think I got stuck at the Eagle Tower. Damn. I I want to know more about it. I'm actually really worried about the art style. Not because it's bad. It's a cute art style, and I like how it feels like um, like the art style feels like it's like you're playing like on um on like a board. Like you're playing a board game version of Link's Awakening. If I were to take, if I were to make a close um uh like a close what's it called connection, it'd be like playing like a board game version of Link's Awakening, like a toy. Like you're playing it with a toy set, but man, people are going to be upset by its art style. I feel, I feel. I was taking, I was like, man, I can't wait to see what this looks like. Cause like the intro was so good. And then it's like toys. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I was expecting too much out of it, but I feel like it's, you know, what's going to happen. It's going to be a wind waker situation because if I remember correctly, when Wind Waker first came out, people didn't like it because it looked too cartoony. And now it's one of it's fu it's a fucking like um it's like it has such a huge cult following now and people love the hell out of it now. But people didn't people wanted a Twilight Princess like game and they got Wind Waker. So what's probably going to happen is they're going to have like a like a like a kiddish style game like this. And people are going to be upset by it, but then it's going to probably gain like another cult following status if the game's good enough. Um, it's probably going to get like another cult following status. Like years down the line, people are going to be like, man, I appreciate this. I'm waiting for it to show up because it doesn't look like they posted it yet. Um, I liked it. I liked it. Yeah, there it is. I want to see it again, actually, specifically this. Because... Yeah, I had a feeling this was an after game. Like, I was gonna say, like, this this looked like a this looks like a Miyazaki film, just based on how this looks like. It looks like a Miyazaki film. So I was wondering, like, is this like gonna be like Ponyo or something on the Switch? I'm like, what what would what would that make sense? And then I just see like the back of Link and I'm like, is that Link? Is that Link from the Legend of Link? 
Or is that, is that Zelda from The Legend of Link? And then it's recreating the exact fucking scene from the Game Boy. This is the this is the exact intro scene. It's cute and bouncy. I like the I like the how I like the direction it's going. And this definitely had like there were Goombas and ch Chain Chomps in Link's Awakening. This is true. It was actually in the game. From what I remember playing it years ago, it they it actually exists. They they do exist in this world. It's a bouncy style and it looks pretty, but it's not what I expected from from a remake of this game, which makes me think: Are they going to remake the the Oracle games? I was thinking it was going to be more like um, the Link Between Worlds or Link to the Past, like those kinds of games, because that had a really good art style. Or hell, you could even go further back and do the remake it in the style of uh, Four Swords. I don't hate the art style. Like, I like the art style separate from it being in a Zelda game. Like, does that make sense? It's 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 it, it's good. It's a good art style. Everything's bouncy, reacts fine. Like everything it feels cohesive. It feels nice. The way the the way the sound effects are, the way the visual effects are, this is a very pretty looking game. Malin, or Malin, um, Marin, that's her name. She's pretty. Fucking you. Link's got the dot eyes, which I guess mimics the original. It looks like the um the gameplay mimics the original too. And it's coming out sometime this year, probably, I would garner to say, either in the fall or winter. Um, that's what I would garner. Excited, though. Hey, Kurokuma. We just watched the Nintendo Direct. Okay, Mario Maker 2. So, yeah, this was, this was a thing. I, it, it feels like it feels like they're actually just doing um I mean I like how they're organizing the stuff now but it's instead of a Mar it's, it seems like Mario Maker Deluxe with more stuff added that's what it seems like to me I was hoping they would add like a four I was hoping they would add like an art style for maybe another Mario game I was hoping maybe they would do. I mean, they don't have, they don't have a lot of like differences between Mario's two, uh, two and three and onward. Um, and the one from New Super Mario Bros. pretty much mimics how he is today. They pretty much have like all the other Mario games intact, but like it would be cool if they added a fourth one, like it being Mario Two in just style alone. And you could remake a bunch of assets in the style of Mario 2, but keep the gameplay exactly the same as the other three Mario or the other four Mario games that are on this list. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. You're sorta of disappointed? I see people being disappointed. I liked it. There were a lot of games it was a lot of RPG focused games. Um, but man, Link's Awakening. Yeah, I, I remember slopes weren't a thing in this game. They were in Smash Brothers, but not in this. I might get it because I mean I didn't get the one on the Wii U because I didn't really care. But I mean I might grab it. Depends on if I really care hard enough. It's coming out in June, so there's time. And oh yeah, the cat suit. They should have added so many more Mario power-ups. I mean the cat suit's a good choice. Um but it seems like it's exclusive to 3D World. Um, which I guess is or 3D, uh, the, the this, the U levels, which I guess is whatever. That's not really that big of a deal to me. But like, you could add the boomerang suit, you could add the frog suit, you could have the, the hammer suit, you could have like so many outfits that no one exists anymore. The ice flower, penguin suit, you could do a lot of stuff with this. And they didn't really. I don't know. 
this is actually coming out. I this is kind of a the ultimate. I, I don't know if this is like counts as a fuck you. I don't know, cause like they gave, they showed us Joker, they showed us his model, they showed us his model, and that's it. Apparently, he's gonna be done by the end of April. So that's still two more months without Joker. Ultimate spring update. But like, it's hilarious because 2.0 came out two weeks ago. It came out just as Piranha Plant came out, and now they're putting out a 3.0 when there really isn't that many substantial changes outside of there being Joker. Um, but like, what else is there? They said there was gonna be other stuff, but what else is there? What are we adding, you ask? You'll just have to. Just based off of this screenshot, which I know Game Explain is gonna make like a 35-minute video just on the screenshot alone. I can't tell. It's way too mosaic out. But if I were to garner a guess, maybe they've taken the online criticism into account and are doing something to it. I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a wizard, Harry. I just want Joker. Also, I'm pretty sure all the other Smash Amiibo are out right now. Which, in that case, I'm I'm gonna definitely get. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a Simon. I gotta get a Daisy. I gotta get a Pichu, and I gotta get um another Inkling Amiibo. I need to also get the other Inkling Amiibos as well as the Octoling Amiibos as well as Marina and Pearl because I'm a slut. Um. Ivysaur, I definitely want Ivysaur. Charizard already exists, so that's why they don't have it here. Um, Blizzard's Ultimate is about to spring forward with the version 3.0 update this spring. What are we adding, you ask? You'll just have time to smash. And don't forget, Challenger Pack 1. He's secretly been preparing for battle. And his moment will finally come before. He's gonna be super close range, isn't he? He's gonna be super close range, but his so is but Arsene is going to be like the ranged part of him. I assume the ranged part is gonna be coming from his persona and all the abilities he can use, like curse abilities. And but can you switch? Per can you use like? different person like does Arsene have because what are they gonna do because he only ever has one move and he only he's really like a curse he's a curse fighter so like what are they gonna use with him and he's also technically the worst persona <laughs> technically the speaking in other words this year springtime is the time to smash and don't I'm sure it is but like man give us better online please um, Dragon Quest, okay, that's cool. Oni, Oninaki looks cool. It's just a bunch of RPGs. Um, wait, where's the, where's the room, where's the room escape shit? Rune Fantasy. Wasn't that also in this, like, lineup? Whatever, Astro, I'm gonna look at the Astral Chain trailer, Astral Chain trailer again, cause... Good lord. Good frickin' lord. I'm like, I see this and it looks really cool and then I see the way the game plays and it's like a hack and slash platinum game and it's like, it looks like it's made by platinum. And the art style looks like it's tailored made for the Switch, so this might be an exclusive. And it's coming out in August right before September of this year. And it looks like you can just capture... Well, it looks like you can just build a suit and capture monsters to use. Well, you're chained together. You're chained together and that's how you use your combos and stuff. But it looks like you could, al you could also be in a suit for different moves. I was gonna say like this looks like it looks like near. It looks a lot like near, but a lot more technical, like technically sound. Of course, again, because it's on the Switch, you can see the 
the bells and whistles of it showing. Of course, it's, it's probably not completed yet. Then again, it could just be the art style it's going for. And it's very anime. Like, just the fact that it's very anime is enough to tell me, like, this is platinum. My heart goes out to you too. All because of how you were born. Doomed to be used by those idiots until you die. Chained to your fate. Powerless. Today has been most revelatory. Who's that guy? We're ready for Who's that guy with the smug ass grin? Today has been most Can I have a can I have a reaction face of this motherfucker? Just this is this guy just fucking Finally. And then that guy just look that monster just looks like metal face, but fleshy. Like malfested metal face. For the final state. Yeah, and the character designer. I don't know who any of the I don't know what any of these are. Um I don't know what any of these are, but I'm sure that guy's a good character designer. It does look very anime. What the hell are they? Why did you make And then Hideki Kamiya, I recognize that name and it's like, yep, it's platinum. He definitely, he did, he directed, no, did he direct Bayonetta? I think he directed, and he directed Wonderful 101, or he made, I don't know. I don't know the specifics of that, but yeah, he's part of it. So it's going to be ridiculous. It's going to have some, bit of, some bits of ridiculousness in there. And then the director of Nier Automata. So this is going to be either very story heavy or very deep or both. Like, I feel like this is going to be another, like, maybe 40 to 60 hour JRPG just based on the, just these details. I know nothing about the game outside of what I've seen so far, obviously, because it's the first time they've shown it, but... No, I still haven't even gotten past. I only beat near once, and I didn't even really beat it. Don't go dying on me. And it looks like it's a Switch exclusive game. So dibs. It looks cool. I would definitely love to try it out and play it. That'd be cool. Um, Fire Emblem. So, it looks like you can create your character. I I am almost positive there's going to be a surge of art of this girl. I already forgot her name. Like, Shada. It it's not Shada. It's not her name. It's like Shimo. She. She. she so, Sothis. So, Sothis. That's her name. Sothis. She's fucking adorable. Um. Then again, most girls in Fire Emblem are, from what I've seen. Uh, so it looks like you can create your character and you can go through, well, it doesn't, well, it doesn't look like it's creatable. It looks like you just pick the gender of one or the other, but you don't really have any creative freedom. Although, although they might have it, because if it's going to be another, because what I'm thinking is it kind of looks like Fates ish, like there's aspects of it, but there's also like new things that I don't recognize and it's just select the form here so you can choose male or female. But then there's more. So what they're not, or maybe it's the left and right to show the difference between the two of them. But I would garner to believe that there's more options. Maybe different hairstyles, maybe different sizes, maybe different hair colors, different, like, all this stuff. You could probably make your Bane and Boon like you can in Fates and, and Awakening. And picking all that stuff and that would make it cool and support and it says that people can support I hope there's support conversations with everyone it looks like there might be hang on where's that scene where they talked about that um da, 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 da. your students can also interact with each other at the Academy and by doing so their bonds will strengthen and they'll be able to better support each other on the battlefield. I just hope that they mean support conversations. They may be voiced, yeah, but that just means support conversations. 
I'm thinking if we do end up doing this game, I feel like we might have to turn the voice acting off. Just funsies, unless we wanted to hear their voices. I guess the vo I guess the jokes can come from that. I don't know. A lot of the a lot of the character a lot of the characters that we came up with in Fire Emblem were also were mostly due to the fact that there was limited voice acting in the game. And it looks like it's fully voiced in this, so like it was in Echoes now that I think about it. And that came out after Fates. Yeah, so I can already see that um a lot of people are gonna love the guy in yellow. Um, a lot of specific kind of people are gonna like the guy in yellow. The guy in blue... He's a very pretty boy kind of person, so he's got an audience, and, uh, everyone will be on red team because Edelgard. <laughs> I might too, honestly. And it's like, it's- they're not making it any better by making the colors based very similarly to the colors that were used to divide Team Mystic, Team Valor, and Team Instinct back in 2014, I want to say, is when that game came out. Like, good lord. And it looks like, and it looks like the, 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 not the Fertis, Fertis, not the blue one, but the one in red, I already forgot, like, Aberrant, is, looks like the largest nation of all of them. So, I have a feeling people are going to flock over to Edelgard. Uh, but, Tan Dude, I also could see people flocking to him. He also got, he's got pretty green eyes. Um, Edelgard, I like her. I like so, t so I already forgot her name. The, 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 the cute dragon looking girl. Sotis. Never mind. She looks like an elf. Sothis. I want to know why I'm trying to add an extra Sothis. I don't know why I'm trying to like add extra shit to that. She's cute. Peers within your mind. She's probably going to be like another Naui type of character. Man, how many characters are going to be in this game? I, this is the first time since Fates that I was actually very interested in the Fire Emblem game. So, like, it's such a new field for me, and yet it's like, there's so, so many familiarities that I get, and it's like, I actually am kind of interested in Three Houses. It looks fun. I don't know how invested I'm gonna be. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll come with the gameplay. But man, Link's Awakening. Oof. Hang on. I want to see the like to dislike ratio. Okay, it's very small, actually. I thought it would be like, or very large apart, actually. I thought it would be much smaller. Final Fantasy IX is coming to the Switch later today. Did they say later today? I'm going to load up my Switch, actually. I'm going to look at the eShop real quick. So, I got it. Is it is this is the switch even connected? I think it is. I gotta actually connect it to my computer though because I did not expect to stream the switch today. Interesting. Um, it should just be connected. Hang on. No other screen should be on right now. So. Let's just do this and it should just work. Like so. There we go. I don't really care about the synchronization right now. That's not really the highest priority. I just want to look at the eShop and see what's there. Okay, so. Yeah. Well, most of this isn't new. 
most of this is just stuff that's on the eShop. Although, if I look at the coming soon tab, then that's where all the games should be, right? They just announced? Or are they going to wait until like 8 o'clock today to release them? Because, man, none of the stuff they, were, they announced is on here. Except for Crafted World. But then again, that was always there. So I guess they got some time before they before they do anything. Um, I'm tempted to play a little bit of Smash right now, but I'm not because no. I've been playing a lot of it though. Like if I just look at the amount of hours I have in it right now, it's like 140 compared to when we first played it back in December. I've been playing it a lot since then. I beat World of Light like a week ago. But, uh, it's fun. It's a fun game. Just, I wish the online was better. And I play online quite a bit. Because it's, it's great. But man, does it need more. Uh, this I'm trying to beat. Gotta get back to Burtmer. And we're almost done with that game, actually. We might be able to finish that in the next stream. Um... Any case. I will in a bit. Hang on. I will in a bit. Hang on. So. Thanks. So. What else was there of any significance in here before I leave? There was Mario Maker 2. Box Boy was neat. Captain Toad. I, as someone who likes puzzle games, I did kind of have a knack for seeing this. Maybe Cap. Um, for seeing Captain Toad. But man, I don't care. <laughs> like I, I don't. It's not. It's not even the game's fault. Cause like. The, the Captain Toad parts were really fun in 3D World, and I, I really wanted to, I really wanted more, and I feel, I felt like it would be its own standalone game, and it was, and then it was re-released, and then there was more stuff in it, and it's like, I could play this, and I would probably really enjoy it, and trying to get everything all in one run, because it's just what I do with these kinds of games, I try to do everything in one run, and if it's not perfect, restart. <laughs> Toad won't be so nervous with someone at his and it's co-op, so, Die. but no one's gonna want to play this with me. Two heads are better than one. No one, none of my friends love way. these kinds of games like this I do. So I would have today. no one to really play with. And some paid downloadable content. And also the paid DLC. It depends on how expensive it is. If it's like a couple bucks, five at most for like a pack, maybe seven or eight bucks at most. I couldn't see spending more than 10 or 15 bucks on this because that would be too much for a dinky little puzzle game like that. Um, what was this? Oh yeah, Marvel Alliance. Cool. The Dragon Quest stuff is neat, I guess. People who Inspired like Dragon now. Quest will like it. Dragon Quest oh, Builders, and then this really cool opening that looks like it's from a goddamn Dragon Ball game, but then again, I think that's the, I think that's, um, that's a thing that's just given. Because they did a similar thing to when Tales of Asperia was re-released. They did a similar thing. And I don't know, maybe it's just me, I, I'm just rambling at this point, like, maybe it's just me, but most of these JRPGs, while they look interesting, they don't grab me in the way that, like, the Mario and Luigi games did, or even Persona 5. Like, Persona 5 was the first real JRPG game that I played on a console ever, and, like, I got suckered into that game so hard. And maybe because I'm, maybe because it was the first that I had, and I had so much fun with it, maybe I'm spoiled. And, like, all the other JRPGs look boring to me. I, well, not boring, but, like, not as flashy, which I guess, again, maybe I'm spoiled because it was Persona 5 that kind of got me into the JRPGs, the scene again. Age, definitive edition. 
And I, but the C, that's why I want to play Octopath, because maybe that'll get me back into the retro JRPGs again. Because that looks really, so Octopath looks freaking gorgeous. And just from the demo I played, like the, 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 like the first demo that came out, not the, not the prologue, but the first one before they got a bunch of feedback looked really, it was great. I only ever really got to play, um, the dancer girl. Uh, I forget her name. But uh, I got to play the dancer. I didn't get to beat the boss fight, though, because it was way too hard. This, don't care. I don't care about this Disney Soon Soon Sundere game. Cool that they're actually using the Switch in portrait mode, because that's a thing you can do. Um, Starlink, meh, 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 so much meh. Adventure crops up once again. Rune Fantasy... I another guess is season, interesting. Another reason to wield weapons and spells against monsters. Good morning. I feel like I wouldn't spend too much on this either. Money or time. Not because it looks bad, but because it's not grabbing me. Like, I'm not interested right now, I guess. I think I'd have to see some gameplay of it separate to get it, to be, like, interested. Apparently Lucajin was from the, from the little bit I saw of her Twitter. Because she's been posting on Twitter like, the whole time this has been going on. Um, yeah, the, the whole time. She's like, knew it, Mario Maker was a given. Can't wait to make more annoying stages for everyone that uses every sound file possible. Please enjoy the only thing I've done in Mario Maker. Oh, yeah. What is that? Bloodstain looks like a game I'd enjoy. I'm getting major sympathy to night vibes from it. That's because it's a secret. That's because it's literally a spiritual success for the Symphony of the Night. Dragon Quest looks nice. Disney Beans getting a game. Okay. Rune Factory Waifu Husbando Special. Yes, please. Cool. I guess it's a waifu game. Maybe. I don't know. I'll be in, Maybe. I don't know. I've been saying maybe I don't know a lot because it's kind of how I feel. Literally heard Yoshi's in a world of crap. Of course. Of course. If, if this is a Harry Potter kind of thing in Fire Emblem, I might start playing Fire Emblem. Cool. Luca did playing Fire Emblem. Claude is a bisexual icon she retweeted from someone else. Yeah, he kind of got that. He, he reminds me of Elima from from Sun and Moon. Sun Sun and Moon. Like, he, he gives me kind of like Sun and Moon Elima vibes. Um, my students are studying horses, horses, and more ho horses, of course. This actually seems to be separate from the Fire Emblem story, so it could be a good starting point for someone like me that's never played any. Well, it seems like most of the other Fire Emblem games are like that. Why am I just re why am I just responding to her tweets? <laughs> Yo, Delta Ruin, Final Fantasy Night today for Crylads. I don't know what this robo dog is, but very good boy. No no Animal Crossing but Link's Awakening. Okay, I'm not sold on the art style, it's so rounded bouncy. I was hoping for a lovely remaster of the sprites. That's what I was hoping for. But who knows? Maybe, maybe they'll add, maybe they'll add, like, you can, like, play in the new style, or you can play in this other cool style that we should have had from the beginning that people will actually probably play as, because, you know, that's a better style instead of this new one. But anyway. <laughs> oh, God. And then, this looks, what, is this the same game? Oh, no, wait, that's actually... Rune Fantasy, right? Factory Rune Factory. This is the Oni Oni. This is the Oni Giri game, right? In this deep single-player campaign, falls a Greek. It looks cool, I guess. I'm sure it has a deep story, but like, it looks cool, I guess. Is kind of what I'm getting from most of these JRPG games. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. Persona 5 has spoiled me. What that means? Yoshi's crafted world is It was almost such a here. good game. It was this such time, a good game. Like put the many facets of these crafty courses on display. I, but yeah, no, I like how you can actually shoot in the background. Yoshi. And that's like a main mechanic. Hey, that robot's pretty huge for a miniature. Even at this scale, you'll have some challenging bosses to wrangle. Oh, are some of the are some of the bosses in claymation? That would be cool. I'd love to see claymation bosses. <laughs> Did someone see that animal, cr that Assassin's Creed PowerPoint presentation? Good. Getting Tetris right now. Koji Tetris players represent. Cool. 
Okay, Rob. Okay. So, the first thing that you sh that you probably will care about is this. To learning more. The thing that shows at the very end. I should probably actually of turn off the music. Please check it out. Um. Fuck it, I'll watch it again. It's a great trailer. Well, mostly great. Oh, man. You might be able to piece together what this is. Oh, that's the only thing you saw? Okay. Well, they actually- Ooh, there was a new Platinum Games game, actually. Um, if you already saw this. Um. Duh, 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 where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. It was made by the director. It was supervised by the director of Bayonetta and Wonderful 101, Hideki Kamiya. And the game's director, the game's director, is actually the same person who directed Near Automata. So, um, it looks really good. Let's take a look. Shall it, we? Well, it looks really cool. It very, it reminds me a lot of, uh, <laughs> it really does remind me a lot of Near from when I first saw it. And it looks, it's, it looks like it's Switch exclusive. And it's coming out in, like, August. Wow, the music's actually really good, too. I didn't really pay attention to it that much during the initial trailer. Yeah, no, this music's great. I didn't even... Wow. Major buffering. That's probably because of the stream delay. Um, like, the... 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 or the ultra-low latency. There, there might be a bit of buffering. People are leading all of humanity straight to damnation. Straight to damnation? You're the terrorist here! You don't understand. That was such My an animated red line. To you all because of how you were born. Doomed to be used by those idiots until you die. Chained to your fate. Powerless. Today has been most revelatory. Mm. Finally, we're ready for the final stage. What the, the hell, hell are they? they? Why, Why did you make them? I really hoped you two wouldn't get caught up in all this. Ah! Now don't go dying on me. Hmm. <sighs> so good. Rob says I'm buffering bad, but I'm watching the stream on my phone and it there's no delay. So it's just you. Like I'm wa I'm watching the stream on my phone which is separate from the stream that's happening on my computer right now and it's exactly thi I don't know. It's it's probably just your internet or whatever. 
I'll I'll look into reducing the latency next time, but what you basically Platinum Games game looks really cool, and then he offhandedly says like Bayonetta the three needs more time, so that gets so that's still delayed. Um, during the trailer was bad. It was probably because the bitrate was losing its goddamn mind. Um, Mario Maker two was the very first thing they showed. Which looks a lot more like Mario Maker Deluxe. Because, like, they're adding a lot more shit. Like, slopes, for one. They're adding a lot more items. A lot more, core, like, background things. More music. More obstacles. And I don't know when that's coming out. No, it's coming out in June. Sometime in June. And, um... I don't know if you saw, but Ross tweeted... Before the Direct... I think like a, a couple days before the direct that if Mario Maker 2 was announced that Aaron told him that he's basically contractually obligated to spend hundreds of hours making Mario Maker levels for the game crumps. So that's going to be a thing, I guess. Um Smash is getting some update. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh three houses, yes, but they did show this. Find out. Remember. Joker is a part of Challenger Pack 1. He's secretly been preparing for battle, and his moment will finally come before the end of April. In other words, this year, springtime is the time to smash. They didn't show any gameplay, but they showed his model, so we're getting closer. And don't also that I guess. Um, they they said that a lot of stuff's happening in spring, but they're not going to show it, and then they show Joker. Um, I want Joker so badly, man. <laughs> Three houses. So, what they showed at three houses? Well, first of all, the main, the first girl that they showed is fucking adorable. Uh, so, so her name is Sothis. This oh girl. My. What could have brought you here? So, from what I could gather, is that there's three nations, of course, in the in this world. And they're basically fighting against each other, and the main area that you're starting in is the center of all three of those sectors. Um, each of these have names or whatever. And then you start your main character, which, based on this screenshot, it seems like you can make your own character. You can at least change their gender. I don't, They didn't show anything really you much past this, but you can change needs. their gender. You start... Um, but what you what it's basically you um it's kind of like you remember how it's kind of like in fates where you got to pick a side but it seems like you pick a side you stay with that side and then build that side up against the other two sides in the war at least that's what it looks like around that same time you alone begin to see a mysterious girl named Sothis who appears within your mind Oh yeah, she appears in your brain! Garrig Mock Monastery lies at the center of three large... Oh yeah, and each each of those section, each of those, like, uh, nations, um, are led by one person. Edelgard leads the red one, and then there's two other people that they showed. ...academy is comprised of three houses. The Black Eagles is for students from the Adrestian Empire including the house leader and future emperor, Edelgard. The Blue Lions boasts Prince Dimitri of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus as its house leader. This house is for students from his kingdom. The Golden Deer is for students from the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, who is the heir of the noble family that leads the alliance. As a professor, you will lead the students of one of these houses and instruct them. In addition to the house leaders, there are many other students to meet. And you can support them, but it seems like it's fully voiced, much like how it is in um uh like warriors. Um but they said that ever that people can talk to each other and support various lands, sometimes with the knights of Saros themselves and gain real battle experience, including everything from defeating bandits to suppressing rebellions. These may be- And, yeah, Professor, um, because also you can teach specific units, like, you can, like, make- you can, like, uh, teach specific units how to learn stuff to get better stats, and you can, I think, 
You can Classes support finance, multiple people with each other. Each battle are mm -hmm. very real. Whether your students live or like it's die, definitely fire emblem on your leadership. Strategize as the battle progresses to claim victory. One more success. At the Officers Academy, your students will work diligently each day so that they may wield a variety of weapons. Master the study of magic. And acquire special skills such as horsemanship. Yeah, here's pause. So here's what threw me off. Because there's a fighting stat. And also reason and faith stat. Which casual mode. I think it it looked like there was casual mode. Like it doesn't look like they never talked about permadeath in this. So I could assume that there's a casual mode. But yeah, though, look at all these stats. There's like the typical ones, but then there's like fighting, reason, faith, authority, heavy armor, and specifically for riding and flying units. So like there's more stats to worry about too. You have been entrusted with their future and it's up to you to guide each of them and help them hone their abilities. Through combat experience and study, you can help your students reach their full potential. Your students can also interact with each other Here. at the academy, and by doing so, their bonds will strengthen, and they'll be able to better support each other on the battlefield. So there's four, so which makes me think that you could support, like, multiple people together and have different conversations based on that. That's just based on that screenshot of them, all four of them going crazy. So I don't know, but that would be really neat, because you, you can have, like, a whole different set of support conversations just depending on how many people you have in the same room god they're even color coded like the Three territories, three houses, your very own journey. Oh yeah, it's also coming out in July. Fire Emblem Three Houses will release on July 26th. They def- they- they also- they- they talked about why they delayed it. Cause they said it was supposed to come out this- around now but they delayed it oh by the way tetris the game <laughs> nine tetris 99 and then death by daylight is coming to the switch and then fucking this happened Ruined your day So that was great. Um, Demon X Machina. There's a demo coming out later today, but the rest of it's coming out in later. Uh, real sports racing. Don't care about. Um, and then they showed Hellblade is getting a Switch release sometime this spring, and I was like, I might get it if because it's interesting. I guess Mortal Kombat 11 is coming to the Switch. And then Unravel 2 is as well. And then Assassin's Creed, which when looks Unravel laggy as Nintendo fuck. March 22nd. And you For gotta the go. First time on Nintendo Switch, experience Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. Yeah, no, this looks laggy as fuck. And then, oh, Final Fantasy 9 is coming out today. And Final Fantasy 7 is coming out in a few months.
Collection will find its new home on Nintendo Switch March 26th. We're pleased. Once a classic, always a classic. How's everything looking? Hi, Trey. Well, we it's been a while since I've seen you here in the chat. A bit more to share. Let's yeah. take. Yeah, most of this other stuff. There's Rune Factory, Dragon Quest, Yoshi. They showed Yoshi. Bloodstained looks really good. Captain Toad, Marvel, whatever the hell. It looks cool. Box Boy, which I think is neat. Um, that's basically it's oh yeah, Starlink, whatever. I mean, I guess overall. I could see why people find this disappointing, but I think there's some cool stuff. Cause I mean, it ends with Link's Awakening, really, re, 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 re just re, just a Link's Awakening, re. <laughs> I did not have to be active in the channel. Yeah, fair enough. Also, I'm glad you like the the Metopia highlights they're really fun to do and i'm actually kind of surprised that i was able to get out four in like a very calculated every two every other week time frame for some reason like i don't know i was it wasn't planned to be like that i just happened to end up finishing them within a within like that kind of time frame and I would just end up putting them on a Monday because it fit the schedule good. Because it would be right after the moment Master 4 or whatever. Uh, yeah, I rambled on for like an hour after the direct ended, so I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Um, I'm working on the next Mutopia video. That won't be out for a while. I don't know if I'll actually get it done for the next video, for the, uh, like the week after next week. Because this stream, because stream five is actually around like three and a half hours long, and most of the other ones didn't didn't really breach two and a half hours, so this is only gonna take a while. Plus, I'm working on the shit fest as well, so that also takes a bit. So, uh, that's it, I guess, for the stream. It's a good direct wasn't it wasn't the best it could have been better there was really only one thing i was super hyped for maybe two if you count delta ruin being hilarious uh but most of the other stuff is just jrpg stuff that it, i it looks interesting i'm sure i would have a blast if i really got into it but i'm not into it which is a shame because i know that there's like a there's definitely an audience for them Yeah, no, Fire Emblem Three Houses got a lot of good info. I'm excited to eventually get it and play it and have fun because it looks like it looks good. Fates, uh, I'm glad that I kind of got it, got into Fire Emblem with Fates. So there's that. Sothis is cute. Sothis is goddamn adorable. Um. Anyway, that's it for me. I'm done. Uh, I'm gonna head out. Uh, stream tomorrow probably with Joe, 5:30, 6 o'clock ish. We're gonna finish the Burt Mern, and then maybe we'll do some Dong DLC. Maybe we'll go back to V3. I've been playing a little bit of it for the stream again, and uh, also playing the lottery to get some more of those love sweet stuff to show for the stream. Cause man, that'll be great. Um. <laughs> in any case thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next time for another stream take care have a lovely day and make sure that you uh, keep your uh, direct inputs in the I'm, I'm done <laughs> we'll see you guys later I'm good I'm good goodbye goodbye now I'm done